so Battlefield games have always mainly been about the multiplayer. That's a pretty solid fact, and it's probably not going to change anytime soon. A lot of the single player campaigns in the past titles can be brushed over in about half a day, and that's provided it isn't skipped first, with loads of players rushing into multiplayer without even thinking of giving that story mode a chance to shine. A lot of people who try them out do enjoy the single player campaigns, myself included to a certain degree, but it's blatantly obvious that a good majority of people who buy the game are mainly doing so to hop into that competitive multiplayer, and that's where most, if not all of their time playing the game will be spent. If you imagine a Battlefield game being released with a story mode only without the multiplayer, I would probably imagine that it wouldn't get a lot of traction in the market, and sales numbers would probably plummet on a ridiculous scale, especially if that game was to have a $60 or £50 retail price tag slapped onto its case. But if the tables were reversed and a multiplayer only Battlefield title was to be released instead, would this have the same effect? And more to the point, could this possibly even benefit the franchise, gaining a stronger competitive multiplayer by sacrificing one of its arguably weaker elements? In this video I'm going to be challenging that concept, and exploring the possibilities of how the Battlefield franchise could potentially move into a multiplayer only direction at some point in the future. Whether it be in the next title, coming out later this year in 2018, or whether it be in a game following that. Now if you're not already aware of the recent news regarding Call of Duty Black Ops 4, well, it looks like that game could be ditching its single player campaign in favour of just having multiplayer. Which is a bit crazy when you think about it, as Call of Duty titles have pretty much always had story modes, right the way from the beginning 15 years ago in 2003 with the franchise's first game. I guess it's still just a bit of a rumour right now, but this news isn't too surprising, considering the fact that Call of Duty is now mainly known for its multiplayer, unlike when it first came out and the fact that PC players are also given the option to download the single player and multiplayer mode separately if they want. Battlefield on the other hand was mainly a multiplayer game straight from the get go, when Battlefield 1942 came out in 2002, and although you could still play against AI bots on your own, it wasn't until 2005 when Battlefield 2 Modern Combat was released which brought along a slightly more fleshed out campaign mode, though it was still primarily a multiplayer game at heart, and would continue to be right the way up until present day. Multiplayer has always been the main focus, though single player campaigns have been made to fill in a bit of a gap and cater for the players who don't really enjoy competitive multiplayer, or for those of us that just want to kick back and shoot stuff whilst following a story in the footsteps of a character, and to take that away from the series and deny access to a single player mode would probably upset quite a lot of people. But being brutally honest, some of the Battlefield games in the past kind of felt like they had their campaigns tacked on as an afterthought and considering they take such a long time to design and create for the sake of having a pretty short and fairly forgettable experience, is a campaign really worth making after all? I'm going to have to be honest and say that although I thought Battlefield 1 told a few nice stories and helps introduce the game's World War 1 setting, it mainly just felt like a beefed up tutorial to get me prepped up with the controls and mechanics of the game ready for the multiplayer. One section made us use tanks, getting us used to the driving and repairing of land vehicles, and another for flight controls, and a few of the others getting us familiar with elite classes and just combat in general, all things that are prevalent in the game's multiplayer. There was no groundbreaking storyline or memorable plot, and the whole thing didn't really take very long to complete. Like I said before, it was basically just like a glorified tutorial, despite it taking hours upon hours of development time to put together. If we step back a few years to when Battlefield Hardline came out, the game's story mode was pushed harder than any other Battlefield game before it, but yet it still wasn't exactly received brilliantly amongst the fanbase even though the devs would have also put tons of hours into making it. I probably personally wouldn't say Hardline had a particularly bad campaign, as I'd say it was probably one of the strongest of recent memory, but let's be honest, it still didn't exactly have the same kind of depth or emotional impact as something like The Last of Us or Bioshock for example. It takes a hell of a lot of effort and time to create a compelling story that's both fun, memorable and engaging, and when that effort would only really be appreciated by a small portion of the fans, I guess you could see why the campaign is often seen as a bit of an afterthought, with the multiplayer part of the game being the main thing that catches the most attention and draws the most people in. There's a lot of great single player games out there with multiplayer tacked on, and there's a lot of great multiplayer games with single player tacked on, and I'm not suggesting it's the way forwards, but maybe if developers were to channel their efforts into one aspect over another, sacrificing the single player campaign for a much bigger multiplayer, or vice versa, then this could potentially lead to a better game overall. The idea of sacking off a single player campaign in the next Battlefield game might sound like a massive kick in the balls to a lot of fans, but if there wasn't a campaign to work on, then this could lead to more content for the multiplayer, bringing along a wider selection of weapons, maps and content to the much larger portion of the fanbase. It could be the equivalent to having all the season pass content for free, but at the expense of losing the single player campaign, 
And because Battlefield is primarily a multiplayer game, it wouldn't really surprise me to see this shift over at some point in the future, as it could potentially help to counter the whole problem of having paid DLC, and it'd give the game's multiplayer more depth, probably boosting its longevity, thus giving it a longer life cycle, and ultimately increase its popularity in the process. But how the hell do you please the people who perhaps don't enjoy the multiplayer, or the ones that just want to kick back and occasionally fight some AI? Well, DICE has recently shown off some of their self-learning bots, which they've been testing out in Battlefield 1, which is being developed for future games. It'll provide tougher, more realistic enemies for us to fight, and the idea of having a story-driven campaign being scrapped in favour for some smart bots that play on the game's many maps could probably help to fill in that missing single-player element of the game. At the moment, this fancy new AI development is mainly being worked on to help developers design their multiplayer, and test things out to find exploits, and to check whether weapons and stuff are all properly balanced. So I highly doubt that DICE is planning on using this whole man versus machine concept for the game coming out later on this year, but there's definitely a possibility that if it advances far enough, it could probably make its way into the game after. Maybe scrapping the campaign, but having a player versus bot mode implemented instead to scratch that single player itch. But let's not get too hasty with this whole idea of dropping the single player mode just yet, as we can't exactly forget what happened with Star Wars Battlefront back in 2015. When it was announced that Star Wars Battlefront was going to drop with no campaign, all the pitchforks came out and everyone started lobbing their insults at EA, giving them a pretty hard time. I'll admit that considering there was no single player, the multiplayer in the 2015 Battlefront was severely lacking in content on launch, and this massive outcry sent a pretty big message to EA that there's a hell of a lot of people out there that are passionate about single player in their games, and they don't want that to ever go away. And so the title afterwards was given a single player campaign for anyone who wanted to play it. Now let's not forget who's actually behind the Battlefield franchise, EA, and if they brought a game out a couple of years ago that received a huge backlash because it lacked a campaign, then they're probably not going to do it again in a hurry. But if single player was to go in the next Battlefield, would that really be a terrible thing if it equated to more multiplayer content? I guess that depends on the person you're asking, but with competitive multiplayer games becoming more popular year on year, it's not hard to imagine why Activision may have decided to get rid of the campaign in Call of Duty's next title, especially if that means it could have more content that more people are going to play, along with new game modes that could potentially attract more customers. And what game mode seems to be getting all the attention right now? Yep, Battle Royale. The fact that games like PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds and Fortnite Battle Royale have come along and pretty much taken over the world at the moment, both ridiculously popular games, neither of which feature single player modes, yet still attract millions of players internationally, then it's clear that from a business standpoint, whether you like it or not, it's a very successful trend, and it's only a matter of time before a big AAA game comes along and gets on the Battle Royale bandwagon, which will probably maximise profits, and introduce something new to the franchise that hasn't been done before. And I can bet that a lot of big gaming developers will be eager to shove a Battle Royale type mode into their game, and basically strike while the iron's hot even if that means sacrificing a single player campaign, which most people probably aren't really going to care too much about anyway. At the end of the day, gaming companies are out to make money, and if you're waving a carrot in front of the donkey's nose, the donkey's eventually going to bite it. Multiplayer only probably seems like a more profitable way to design most shooter games these days, especially when there's new trends out there waiting to be copied and exploited. And if you're going to find a way to take advantage of that with the limited time and resources you have, then dropping the campaign will most likely seem like an invited tactic to drive more sales, even if it drives a few loyal fans away from the franchise in the process. There's only so much a development team can do, and it takes a long bloody time to make a fully functioning AAA title, especially with the level of detail that gamers expect and demand their games to have. I personally wouldn't have a massive problem with the next Battlefield game being multiplayer only, especially if that meant that we'd be getting a lot more multiplayer content in the base game, or if that meant that there would be some kind of free season pass implemented to make up for it. I usually always play the campaign mode of all the shooters I get, but I'll admit that a lot of them don't exactly live up to expectations, and I'd probably prefer a much deeper multiplayer mode if given the choice. But that's just my opinion. I'd probably get more out of extra multiplayer content if I'm going to be honest, and I know a lot of people out there would do too. If you count the number of hours I've personally racked up over the years playing different Battlefield games multiplayer, there's really no comparison to the amount of hours that I've spent playing the campaigns. But then again, I usually only complete the story modes once, and I'm not really all that bothered about finding all the collectibles and stuff like that, whereas I know there's a lot of people out there that do. But even though I'm definitely more drawn to the multiplayer side of Battlefield, at the same time, it'd be a bit sad to see that there isn't an option to play offline, and I'm pretty sure that if you took that choice away from the average gamer, then you'd be limiting what they can do with your game, even if multiplayer is the bread and butter of what makes the game successful in the first place. 
So I'm going to throw the same question over to you guys as I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on this pretty subjective debate. Do you reckon if you took the single player aspect away from Battlefield in favour of focusing more so on the multiplayer, giving us more content there, would this be a good thing for the franchise and allow it to move forwards as a competitive multiplayer game, or do you think this would be a bad idea, chopping off one of the game's limbs that players would sorely miss? Let me know what you think down in the comments. But that's basically it for this one folks, there's a lot more Battlefield conversations, guides and videos coming up in the future, so make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with those. Give me a like if you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you in that next episode.